Okay guys, welcome to the video today. Today will be uh, part one of the basic setup for flying on BatSim. First thing you need to do is actually register with BatSim. Open up your internet browser and go to BatSim.net. There will be a link um, for every link mentioned in the video in the sidebar. Um, this is the VATSIM website over here. On the left side of this top bar are some important resources that you're going to eventually need to look through, such as the Pilot Resource Center. Um, but what we're going to do today is scroll down on the right side in the kind of sidebar, and where it says New to VATSIM, click um, the link to join. Um, on this page, there's also the legal documents that you kind of should read, but you're not really going to miss anything unless you plan on causing trouble. Uh, go ahead and click Join VATSIM is the last one. And it'll open up the new um, external window that will be the first step of the application process. So make sure you read everything. And then you're going to click Yes, read it all, fill it all out. I'm not going to do it just to save time for this video. Next thing we need to do is download and install several programs. Um, the first one you need is FSUIPC. Now what this does is bridges or connects um, Flight Simulator and the external program that you're going to be needing so that these external programs can um, provide input and make changes and recognize changes that Flight Sim makes during the extent of your flight. So the first one um, that you'll also need to get is FS Copilot. Um, and this is a bunch of tools that are good to use. I mean, there's a pushback thing, radio, pressure, not stuff that you need. But you do need this one because the next program, FSN, requires FS Copilot. And FSN is what you'll actually be using to connect to VATSIM and so on. So first we're going to start with installing FSUIPC. With all these programs, it's necessary that you um, run as an administrator if you aren't already. So uh, you can do that by right click run as and choose the following user that's an administrator account. You're going to click it. It's going to um, install. Now mine already, I have FSU IPC installed. So it's quick. But it'll do that. And then this registration box will come up and you'll click um, leave everything as it is. Click OK. And then hit cancel. And it's going to say the registration was canceled or doesn't check, but that's going to be okay because you don't really need it registered. Okay, the next one we're going to install is FS Copilot, which contains all the uh, the useful tools that you can kind of play around with. When this first comes up, you're going to um, click Run. I promise there's no viruses in it, and you'll get a nice little picture. And this is the basic setup window. What you're going to want to do on this first screen, obviously, just click Next. Then this is the location. You can change it if you want. I'm going to because I have an external drive. Um, you can leave this as it is. Unless you really know what you're doing, you can change it. Um, and then you'll kind of, you probably will have this warning message, but it won't really affect anything. Um, click install and let it go. Okay, then it'll say completed and click next and then click close and that's FS Copilot for now. And then finally we have FSN which actually is the connection client to the VATSIM servers. Um, run it as an administrator same with the rest of them and you'll get this box click run and this is FSN now this uh, will get a little tricky so make sure you follow along of course just, uh, when you get the license agreement just click agree and leave all the boxes as they are now this will ask you to choose three networks, um, but don't choose any of them. 
and then just click next and you'll get this box for a call sign hit cancel first name hit cancel ID cancel same hit cancel for all these boxes and it should install into the same location as uh, FS Copilot and click install when it's complete click next and then click close and you're done and that's the basic installation um, what you're gonna have to do though to check make sure everything works is go ahead and open up your simulator and you should get this box come up that says um, the publisher cannot be verified and it should be FS Copilot DLL click run and click yes to run it every time you open flight sim okay now when your flight sim opens you should see um, a couple of things noticeably right off the bat first down here in your tray there should be this kind of stoplight thing and that is the um, control panel if you open it um, it should see you should see um, the different functionalities available um, it is compatible with like TeamSpeak and Roger Wilco as voice but most people don't use that they use the VAT sim voice servers um, and over here it says FWN isn't connected. Start FS in or check configuration. Um, it should start automatically. However, if it doesn't, go to start, all programs, FS, FDT, and then you can do FWN. And it should register. If your antivirus doesn't block it. there and then that you should put another icon down here in your system tray now um, just start a flight and I'll show you when we get in there what it'll uh, what it should look like if everything went correctly now if everything went correctly when you hit the alt button um, you should see an add-ons menu up here in it and there should be FSUIPC and FS Copilot with a bunch of things. And if you do that right, then you're good. If not, you can send me a uh, private message on YouTube, and I will try to figure out what uh, is wrong, or post a video response showing your installation process, and I'll see if I can't figure it out. Join us for part two, actually getting connected on VATSIM, and we'll see you guys later. Thank you.